What's up? This is John from John Branch Photo Photography, and welcome to the Natural Fields Preset Pack. I'm super excited you decided to buy my preset pack, and I really do appreciate it. Me and my family do thank you. Also, I know you're gonna absolutely love these presets. I've been using them for the last three years in my business, and they really give a great look to my photos. Just take a look at these. So real quick, I wanted to go over some tips and tricks on using the preset, as well as how to install it. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. To install your presets on both Mac and PC in Lightroom, go to your preferences. On Mac, that's Lightroom, preferences. On PC, that's edit, preferences. Go to presets, and then click on the show Lightroom presets folder. This should open up a finder window or an explorer window where you'll see where all your presets go. Take the Natural Fields preset folder and drop it in. Once it's there, your presets will show up in Lightroom. For Lightroom CC and mobile, on your desktop or laptop, go to the edit icon on the top right, presets on the bottom, the three dots at the top, then choose import presets. Find the Natural Fields preset and choose them. Keep in mind importing it here on your laptop or desktop will also make it available on your mobile devices. The Natural Fills presets is supposed to keep your colors nice and fairly natural. There's not going to be a whole large change to your photos, but they're going to pop a lot more. So while using it, what you'll notice is, when first applying it, your photos will go very dark. What you're going to want to do at that point is turn up your exposure. Turning up your exposure is going to give you a good look at how your photo is going to look with the preset on it. Once you've hit this stage, this is when you'll want to white balance your photo if the white balance isn't already good. Keep in mind with this preset, get your white balance good in camera because all you'll have to do is apply the preset and turn up the exposure and for the most part you're good to go. If there's any colors you don't like or there's too much of or too little of, go down to the HSL section. In this section you can change the hue of a color so if your reds aren't red enough you can deepen them up, make them more red. Or for skin tones if there's too much orange you can actually turn down the orange a bit. These are going to be the first two places you want to look when making changes to the preset. And keep in mind, if you want to change it a bit and save it again for yourself, you can do that. Create your own tweak to the preset to quicken your editing. So remember, apply the preset, turn up the exposure, handle your white balance, and then HSL if there's anything else that needs to change. And you'll have a fantastic photo. Thanks again for purchasing the preset pack, and I know you're absolutely going to love it. Happy editing.